hi guys <laughs> hi guys welcome again to my channel i just want to i do a lot of videos about island about relocation about, i just do a lot of video about three major things motherhood relocation and weight loss so i'm here with another video on why you might not want to study in Ireland? I did. I. I'm sure you would have seen the video of why you might want to study in Ireland or why you should study in Ireland. But there are a few points on why you might not want to study in Ireland. So, if you want to see what this is about, just keep on. Tuition fees in Ireland. My first point would be it is. It can be expensive compared to other schools. You might get cheaper schools in other parts of europe like schools in poland schools in romania you may get cheaper options you would get cheaper options as compared to ireland their school fees range from like ten thousand euros to up to twenty five thousand euros not for the whole course my dear per year <laughs> so it's a lot of money okay for an average african person an average person that just wants to relocate so their courses are high because i want to do a course on big data and i tell you for free it's Ten thousand euros per year, yeah, and for two years that's twenty thousand euros. So for people that don't have calculator in Nigerian money, right now ten thousand euros is six million naira. So we're talking about twelve million naira for the course. <laughs> that's not the baby money. <laughs> so yeah it's 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 expensive to be very honest another thing I, not just the school fees depending on the because i do videos on encouraging people to also make do research you should research on you should do research on the part of island that you're staying okay depending on the part of island you're staying you're saying so well like dublin i've done a video like that before the cost of living can be high if you're staying in so you should just check where you're staying and the way to the cost of living as well just so that you know if you can afford it but some places in ireland are very expensive another point i'll give is i gave a point like they give you options of two years work permit after school but that visa has a condition i'll see that as a as a disadvantage because it's not just an open visa it's a visa that has condition for you to work are you the kind of work that they're expecting you to do is a professional job that you sh that would earn up to thirty thousand euros per annum so you cannot even be getting a job that earn like eighteen thousand euros per annum anyway with your qualification you should be able to get that but there's a condition to the visa basically so that's why i listed it as a disadvantage another point that i can see as a disadvantage can be ireland is a small country okay and it can be seen as a closed as a closed society so making friends might not be very easy especially if you're not friendly so it can be lonely because it's small because you're limited to what you can do because it's not as rowdy it's quiet peace and quiet so depending on you this depends on your personality it can be lonely and it might be very difficult to make friends here so that's a disadvantage for all the extroverts you know it might shock you to see that oh you know you have to ask somebody before you just you don't just tell somebody <coughs> you don't just tell somebody oh can i have your number they have to be in need so it can be lonely not just for you as a student living here can be lonely i can tell you for free i've been here for almost for more than three years now and I don't have any of my neighbors phone number yeah we, we see we greet but before you ask somebody for a phone number or even ask for for that relationship there should be a discussion so if you're just greeting somebody like oh, how are you doing there's no discussion why are you why do you need my number you know so unlike africa the community life there is top notch like you could just walk to your neighbor and nothing is your business and you just keep asking questions about them about their life about you don't do that here <laughs> it can be lonely so another thing is if you're coming here to study accommodation can be tough this also depends on where you're studying what the, the county that you're going to be in the part of island you're going to be in people that go to um national university of ireland people that go to universities in galway accommodation can be tough i don't know but 
but especially these years like the, the last six seven years accommodation has become but the government is working on it but right now accommodation can be a big issue so i would advise you do your research as well if you want me to do videos on how you can get accommodation or the best way to go about it let me know in the comment section guys let's gist in the comment section give me ideas on what you want to see let me be your eyes in island <laughs> let me be your eyes in island let me be what you, let me be that person that you ask questions and if i don't know i can ask for you trust me trust me i can ask for the thing hmm. this one is funny that's why it's the last one the irish dialect <laughs> the irish dialect is not the normal it's not the normal english like i'm speaking with you till now sometimes i still do excuse me you know <laughs> i've been here for three years and then they still say a lot of things and i don't get it and my daughter even says my daughter is, is more than three now and she says a lot of things and i still don't get it she's already speaking like them their dialect is it's funny <laughs> <laughs> but at least I'm beginning to understand what they say. I'm beginning to like relate, but it's more like, oh, how, how are you doing? Oh, that's great. Uh, 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 you know, you have to catch up. <laughs> you have to catch up. So that's a disadvantage for me because it's not how we sound, you know. So this is just like a brief video on what is what is obtainable here. And if you have these challenges, maybe you can't afford the tuition fee, people fund person, you can't you can't bear with loneliness because this loneliness actually leads some people to de um, depression, especially immigrants. You know, I didn't list food. Another point might be food. I don't see food as a disadvantage, but I see it more as a shocker. So if you if you like um, to try out new things, it will not be a problem to you because their food basically is different kinds of potatoes, different kinds of soups. And it shocked me in the first year because you go to restaurants and you don't just know what to order because everything is foreign for you. So that's why I did a video on <clears throat> how we get african stuff here so there are shops for african there are shops for african food but they are pricey so i also advise that if you're coming you're planning to come 80 percent 80 percent of your luggage should be food you will thank me later seriously 80 percent of your luggage should be food because i wouldn't say clothes we can buy clothes here we can wait for when they're on sale that you get affordable clothes here and what we wear over there in Africa and in Nigeria specifically is not what we I have a lot of clothes I brought from Nigeria that I've not worn for the past four years or for, for the past three years because they are not necessary. So 80% of your luggage should be food at least so that you take your time to adjust to their food, to take your time to adjust to the environment. Coming the coming to a new place entirely is not it's not a walk in the park. It's not easy. But then the main thing you should come with when you're coming to a new place, island, any place at all, you should have a good mindset. You should know that challenges will come when you, you would surpass. Um, difficult times will come. There are times that you will cry. There are times that you will not understand stuff. But if you have a good mindset about where you're going and you know that, oh, I'm here to stay, I'm here to get the best out of this environment, you'll be fine. <laughs> you'll be fine so i just hope i've inspired somebody there the view is so beautiful like, oh my goodness <laughs> it's so beautiful i'll still take you guys ar around everywhere so i'll see you guys in another video till then fine guests signing out <laughs> fine guests signing out please guys subscribe to my channel encourage me so that i'll do more videos like this okay bye i'll just take you guys around. bye